Hey everyone, welcome to Soul Food. My name is Ryan. In the series of our pressure cooker meals, I'm going to show you how to make uh, a Chinese fried rice in a pressure cooker. It's a cheese recipe, it's really simple and quick. The ingredients are the Holy Trinity, which is three parts of garlic chopped, two parts of ginger chopped, and one part of chili. So in this case, I've used one teaspoon of chili, two teaspoons of ginger, and three teaspoons of garlic. I've got an assortment of vegetables over here, but you can also put in chicken and or shrimp, but the cook time is exactly the same, so you don't need to worry about it. I've got some broccoli flowers, some green peppers, you can use yellow or red. I've got some carrot, which is a small dice. I've got uh, some white cabbage, some beans, and I've got some spring onions. You can use leek and any other vegetables, remember that. And of course, I've got uh, one cup of basmati rice. I'm using that because that's a nice, light and flaky rice. So I'm going to change the camera position and I'm going to show you exactly how I cook this. See you again in a second. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the cooking process for the fried rice. I've got my cooker, which is on the flame. Okay, you want to get it nice and hot. And I'm going to put in some cooking oil. You can use just any regular vegetable oil, you can use peanut oil, you can use soy oil, anything that you like. But we want to use a little excess oil in this case because you don't want the rice or the vegetables sticking to the bottom. So I'm thinking about four tablespoons of oil. I think that should do it. First we're going to put in the, the ginger. And the garlic and chilies. Lost in my own world, I'm sorry if I stopped talking over there. This is a nice mix because these are your aromatics and you want to really get the flavors out. Next thing we're going to do is going to put in our veggies. I'm going to start with the carrot because that takes the most amount of time to cook. And the spring. This is another aromatic so you really want this to cook too. It releases all its natural flavors. Put in the beans next. The broccoli. All of the vegetables. Put a season with some salt. Give it a mix. To get the rice, okay, I'm just going to pour this over the top. So the trick of cooking rice in a cooker is very simple just about enough of water to be about one finger nail above the rice so that seems to be okay just balance everything out a little bit and now all I'm going to do is pop the lid on and let this go on a medium to low flame for only I don't know how to cook this best, but for only about three fourths of a whistle. Hey everyone, I'm back. So, the cooker was turned off just before the whistle was going to go blow. And what I've done is I've let it sit for about 10 minutes. So we're looking at a total time of about 20 minutes as of now. You can still hear the whistle going off a little bit. So, I'm going to try and open this and let's see how it turned out. So, I think I've got most of the steam. Beautiful. I tell you, it smells so good. Everything is nice and loose, as you can see. There you have it. The cheese recipe to Chinese fried rice in a pressure cooker. The simplest and easiest of things to do. You can finish this off 
with a little bit of synthetic vinegar, use some white vinegar or white cream vinegar, anything like that, to kind of give it an added flavor. And I always check for seasoning with salt and pepper. Normally I know pepper is not good, but I like to put some pepper into it. I hope you like this recipe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.